Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be all about getting my to-do list on, tackling my to-do list, and also organizing with Olivia. <laughs> I like that, it's catchy, but I need to get a lot of organization done. I need to get some projects finished. I am notorious for starting a project and like not finishing it, mostly because I have a hard time finding the time to do it. So there's a lot of projects I need to get done. There's organizing I need to get done. There's cleaning, there's laundry, there's furniture building, there's decorating all of that. This is definitely gonna take me multiple days. It is my goal this week, Monday through Friday, to get all of this done on my list. And I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I'm really crossing my fingers. I'm gonna try my best to get it all done because it's been bothering me and I just want it done. So just know this did not take me one day. You'll see multiple days, like multiple days of footage just mashed all into one video. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get started with this video. First thing that I'm going to be doing is filling up our sink downstairs and as you guys know if you watch my vlogs I am painting our cabinets down there. As you can see I have the base of them done. I needed to soak the hardware and get all the gunk and grime off of them. So I was using some white vinegar, some soap, and then hot water and going ahead and soaking all of the hardware in there and then after about like 10 minutes I went ahead and I scrubbed it with like a bristle brush to get any of like the dirt and stuff that was really stuck in there off and this was just gonna prep them and get them nice and clean to be painted later on. If you guys remember the vlog where I started painting the cabinet doors and I used chalk paint, it was gray. I ended up not liking the finish. It ended up being way too, I don't know how to describe it, like clumpy. I don't know if I just didn't paint it properly. Chalk paint gets a little difficult to paint with because it dries super fast and you have to be like very even with it or it'll dry strange. So. I ended up spending all those nights painting and just ended up sanding it off in the end. I only ended up painting three of the doors with the chalk paint and I had six doors total so it wasn't a huge waste and I figured I might as well just sand it all off, start over, and I'm going to end up painting them white. So I had three already painted on doors to sand off and then I just had three regular doors to sand and get like the lacquer whatever the heck was on there before off. I was out there for about four hours straight sanding that day and this is the next day. I was just gonna get caught up on the laundry and just fold that and get that out of the way first because it was in the way of like my workspace downstairs because those cabinets are like right behind me in the laundry room and I needed to get all the laundry off the floor before I started working on the cabinets anymore. So I just went ahead and uh, threw some laundry in just to get that started and going so that I would be able to eventually get to it and fold it. As some of you guys may know, I wanted to get a like cubicle thing for my office space and I found some organizers from Walmart and also this super cute metal base cubicle. I will have um, as much as I can linked down below as well if you guys are interested in shopping any of these items I show. But I will say when I ordered this, I must have did the measurements wrong, but I thought it was gonna be way shorter than it ended up being, but it was super tall. In the end, I like it. I love the way it turned out. I was just really shocked at first, but I was just going to be putting this together and I will say it was kind of a pain in the butt to put together. It required glue in some spots. I've never had one require glue, especially when it has like the pegs that you put in it. I don't know. I also messed up at one part and I had to like sit there and try and figure out what I did wrong for like 15 minutes. That was kind of frustrating. So it took me about like an hour and a half to put this together which is like ridiculous I feel like it should have took me 45 minutes or something but it's all right in the end I really liked the result and it ended up being super cute and I think it goes really well and fits really well in the space this is my reaction to it being so tall I really truly didn't realize how tall it was when it was laying down because like the perspective's different 
but I was like pretty shocked because I was expecting it to be like waist height and it was way taller but as you can see it fits perfect it looks great after everything's you know put the way it was I ended up taking this picture off the wall because it was too low and then I ended up ripping some of the freaking uh, drywall off with the command strips because I accidentally pulled it too hard so I had to hang that picture there basically like in the same spot just a little bit higher so that it would fit right above the cubicle and then I went ahead and I hung up my cute little pictures I got right above my desk and I hung those up with thumbtacks I don't know why but I just like love using thumbtacks they're so easy and if something's light enough to be hung up with a thumbtack I will hang it with a thumbtack I don't recommend this but for me it's just something I can't let go of like I did this as a child growing up in my room I like hung pictures with a thumbtack and I just can't like let it go because it's so easy to do yes I use command strips I actually hung that other picture because it was more heavy and glass and these were a lot like less weight and they were more like flimsy feeling so I felt like they would just be fine with a thumbtack I don't know I think it's funny but anyways I ended up really loving the way these frames turned out I think they just went so well with like the cubicle and everything just ended up turning out really great in my office area And here is the somewhat finished result of my office I might want to get more of those little storage cubes not sure yet and then right here I was just kind of jumping between everything my load of laundry was dry so I brought it upstairs and I got it folded and out of the way At this point the hardware is completely dry it's nice and clean and I'm gonna be using this fusion all-in-one matte black spray paint and then just this matte clear protective top coat once it's done I took them outside just used this like cardboard box to spray paint on and I ended up just coating them lightly I ended up doing this two times before I did add the top coat. So I spray painted them, let them dry for two hours, spray painted again, let them dry for two hours, and then added the top coat. So it was like an all day process to get these painted. It was a beautiful day this day. It was like 55 degrees and a clear sunny skies. So I was taking the kids table. If you guys remember, I got this kids table off of Marketplace for 20 bucks with the chairs included. I'm not working on the chairs in this video, but I eventually will. Um, I had this table as a child and it just brings back so many memories it's such a good sturdy solid wood table i started sanding this with a 60 grit sandpaper to really get all of whatever the heck was on the surface off and it worked and then i used a like 220 grit to smooth it out and then i took some dish soap and warm water so with a damp cloth, I was gonna wipe off the excess dust from the sanding, and then there was a lot of sticky residue on this table. As you can imagine, it's a kid's table. It's been around for like 20 years, so it has a lot of gunk on it. And I just used like a dish sponge with like a harder side and a softer side, and really worked to get a lot of those nasty, sticky, gross stains out and get the table nice and clean and prepped to be painted after the wood was completely dry this part was so time consuming but I took like a tarp I cut it and I was gonna tape around the bottom legs so that I could spray paint the top and protect the bottom legs because I didn't want those to be painted I wanted those to stay white I just wasn't doing that part yet I could have unscrewed the table I really didn't want to mess with the screws honestly so I just went ahead and wrapped it up and protected it from getting spray paint on it but you guys will see here the spray paint that I used it was like this pink chalky matte spray paint and it just like came out clear I don't know if it's because I didn't prime they claim that you don't need to and that it works on most surfaces I don't know if it's because this was like the natural wood but it really came out clear I'm not kidding so 
I need to go back to the drawing board with what I'm gonna do with the top of this. I love the natural wood, but there's a really bad stain on the top that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sand off. So I ended up taking all that work off that I did in the bottom of like taping it up and I ended up taping the top of the wood and then using this matte white uh, chalk spray paint. Again, it's an all day process. So I did two coats of that and then the clear coat. So it took like six hours total. And then my front porch, I still have the Christmas stuff out. I wanted to get use out of this as long as I could, but now I feel like it is March. It's time to take it down. So I was just getting everything down and storing it away. I was so confused right here because my front door mat had this like giant hole in it. Like it looked like it got chewed by an animal or something. Like look at that. What the heck, how did that happen? Cause it wasn't like that when I put it down. Really confused about that. I don't know, but anyways. For this Christmas tree right here, it is so messy. So I usually put it in like a 30 gallon garbage bag. I do one on top, one on bottom, and then I just like tie it up and it's good to go and be stored away. But I only had 13 gallon ones. So I kind of like just shoved it in there and I used multiple ones. It did not really work, but whatever the majority of it's covered up fun fact i got this tree from my previous shop before i went like full fledged with youtube and it was like a prop that we had used and they were giving them away because they didn't want those props anymore i love this tree it's just so darn messy the little fake snow gets stuck to everything your clothes it gets all over the place if you even remotely touch the tree like so much of it falls off but I love it so much and I don't ever want to get rid of it. Since I took all that down, I realize Easter's coming up. I usually don't decorate that much for Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day. It's a really short-lived holiday, those two. But I did pull down uh, Easter box so that we can decorate maybe in the next coming week here. And then I found this wreath. I remember I got it from Home Goods um, like last year after Easter on clearance for $5. You guys know how stupidly expensive wreaths are. So I was like over the moon about this and I found it. Right here, I'm showing you guys the inside of the cabinets and how much of a mess they are. There's this contact paper, there's paint, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add more contact paper over top of this wood because I just, I'm not gonna be able to get it how I want it and it's just so beat up. So I was just sanding the paint and trying to remove the contact paper. It was really difficult. It was so stuck on there. I had this tool that I was trying to use, but I just realized that last one in that one cupboard, it was just not, it was not gonna come off. So I'm just gonna probably order some and just put like more on top of it. I know I dogged the people who did this before, mostly because the one they chose was ugly, but I, I really don't have any other option. I'm really just trying to make the best out of these cabinets. So that's just what I'm gonna have to do. But I spent some time here trying to just sand it down and get it nice and smooth so that the contact paper will go on uh, nice and evenly. What I was doing right here was wiping off any like dust that might have settled on these cabinets. It's been a while since I painted them and I never put a top coat on. So I wiped them off and then I was taping off um, the insides to make sure that I wasn't going to add to anything. I just sanded off to make for more sanding and I taped off the edges of the outside cabinets. So I didn't get any of that top coat on. I don't think it mattered because it's clear, but it might have left like a shiny look on the walls. And then I went ahead and used the Minwax Polyacrylic Protective Finish. This is just a clear coat finish. Um, I did one coat of this. I don't think I needed two. I did use a really like heavy duty cabinet enamel. Like it's uh, paint meant for cabinets that is gonna hold up and be really durable. I think the brand I used was Bare. I'll make sure to link it down below. I don't know right now, but I will figure it out and it will be linked down below. I'm really happy with this paint though and how it turned out. I have yet to paint the doors um, with it. Since I did have to start over again with the doors and sand them down, I did only get around to priming. You guys will see later on in the video, but I do really like the way it turned out on the base of the cabinets and I'm sure it will look just the same on the doors as well. I didn't think I had footage of this, but I guess I do. Right here is after two coats with the hardware, I was just putting on that protective clear top coat 
to make sure that they don't chip or anything. So in between all the painting, sanding, all of that, I was switching the loads of laundry. I didn't record it, but I was just throwing them in the dryer and then throwing them on the floor and making a huge pile. Right now, I am going to fold all that laundry and get it out of the way. Here I am later that night at like midnight. I needed to rest at some point. I never rested, but I got back to work once everyone was asleep and I was using the, I believe it's the Zinzer 123 like everywhere primer. I'm not sure, I'll have it linked, but this is a great primer. I've used this for a lot of my projects and it works amazing. So I was gonna be priming all of the cabinet doors. I did two coats of this. And then I have yet to paint them like I had mentioned. It's not going to be included in this video because I'm just not going to get around to it. Once I do paint these, I will for sure share with you guys what they turned out like. Next, we are on to kitchen organization. I found amazing deals on storage, so I got that large bin for $5.99 from Marks. I found this core like bamboo silverware divider from Ollie's for, I think it was like nine bucks. I got these little turnable like Lazy Susan things for the pantry or just like cabinets and stuff. These were two for $12 on Amazon. I have these clear bins, which I didn't end up using today, but I did get those a dollar each from Dollar Tree. And then I found more storage again at Mark's, $1.99 for these like flip lock containers. I was so excited. I have tons more storage that I will be using for our pantry. I'm going to do a separate video on uh, pantry organization and stuff. Really excited for that. It's been long overdue. But right now I'm going through all the cluttered cabinets and drawers in our kitchen and just cleaning them all out and organizing them. So I went ahead and just took everything out and then I sprayed it down and cleaned the inside. Our cabinets and drawers and everything are super clean. Like either the previous owners who lived there before the person who flipped our house bought it, um, either they kept up with them really well or maybe the person who flipped our house put in new cabinets. I'm not sure, but regardless, they're really clean. So this drawer didn't need a lot of work. I was just organizing the new th uh, organizer which was so much bigger there's so much more room and I already had those white organizers which like holds lids and clips and there's some like candles in the back too um, so that was an easy drawer to do and then for this one is like extra kitchen tools I guess I was going through it throwing out some things like that electric can opener I've had since I first moved out of my parents and it's like taped together I got a new one. It really just needs to go in the trash. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I took some organizers. I also got these at Dollar Tree for a dollar each and th those just weren't gonna work for this drawer. So I ended up keeping the same organization in there. Just like I said, reorganizing and getting rid of some stuff. I am a pretty organized person, but I feel like everyone has a junk drawer and this is ours. So it's got a smoke detector, some hammers, some painter's tape, some money, baby monitors, pack of wipes um, a pump it's got some nice stuff in there so I was just going through this and kind of getting rid of stuff figuring out where stuff went putting stuff just back in the right place and then I added some organizers in there as well because there are some things I wanted to keep in there like the tools that I constantly use that I don't want to go out to the garage and get like I'm gonna use them I use them constantly all the time so I keep them close in the kitchen and just random stuff that we might need like a sharpie some scissors some tape stuff like that charger thingies I just keep in there as well 
This one's kind of another junk drawer, but it has like gum, cards, hand sanitizer, more markers. It did have a bunch of extra tool parts, or not tool parts, but like parts to furniture that I just threw in there because when we moved, we got a lot of new furniture and I was just throwing them in there. But I'm actually gonna organize those way better downstairs because I do wanna hold on to those parts just in case I need them. There was a freaking remote in there. I don't know, this was just like a random drawer, but I kind of decluttered it and then left the stuff in there that I felt needed to be left in there. Throughout this whole thing, I make piles of stuff I'm gonna like take into the garage, the basement, just back to its original place where it belongs. This is our medicine cabinet. I am terrified of this thing. It gives me really bad stress and anxiety by looking at this. Like I said, I'm a very organized and clean person and I never got around to this cabinet. When we moved, I just yeeted all of it in there and I never touched it again. I had random spices in this cabinet, some that we don't use every day. So the stuff that we do use every day, I put on this little spinner and then I just put the other spices back into our pantry that I only pull out like maybe a couple times a month. We do have the spice rack spinner thingy on our counter, but some of the spices aren't included in that, so I like to just keep those ones that we use every day. There's also like oil and honey on there as well. So then I just went through all of our medicine and organized it into categories and then made sure like I got rid of any expired stuff and then I pulled everything out of the cabinet. I had some pretty random stuff in here, I'm not gonna lie, stuff that I needed to put into those piles that I was creating to put back in their correct uh, places. And then I went ahead and cleaned out the entire cabinet. So I did this before, but I take this little organizer right here. You can get these at the Dollar Tree for one buck. And I put like our essential medicine. So stuff that we're probably gonna need if we're sick or we have a headache or a cold. There's a Band-Aids in there, antibiotic ointment, just stuff that you usually go for. And I put that so it's easy access right in the front. In total, I had four boxes of medicine storage. So this first one was adult medicine. So anything for Patrick and I, I kept in this one. The second one right here, I did extra medicine. So like extras of whatever, took some stuff out of the packaging to save some space. And then this one I did like creams and sprays and ointments and all of that. And then the very last one was any of the medicine for the girls. So like kids medicine, saline, the no suckers, anything like that <laughs> went into this bin. I found these little multi-use label stickers at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if I recommend these though because they are like peeling off already and I just put them on yesterday. So eh, I'm not sure if I recommend these, but they were only a dollar and I was able to label everything so it's easier to find things and not have to be like ripping open the boxes and digging through them to try and find stuff. I did need to do some adjusting of the shelf just to be able to fit two bins up there, stack them up on top of each other, and everything fits so perfect. I had the four bins total up there and then the little basket of like the essential medicine ready to grab, don't need to dig or open anything. And I am really happy with how that top shelf turned out. And then that little shelf right there, I did like my aluminum foil and my uh, plastic bags. I really don't know how else I could have organized that. And then once again, those organizers from Dollar Tree, I just put like sunscreen, bug spray, stuff that I want easy access to, and then like teas and powders and stuff in those two bins. Um, silver water, some hand sanitizer, my blender, I popped right in there because it fits so perfectly. And I labeled those as well, just because, you know, why not? There you go, it looks so much better like i feel like i can breathe now i honestly went in this cabinet a lot too at least once a day so now that it's so much more organized it was pretty simple and easy to organize it and it was very inexpensive as well next is the girls silverware drawer and then also their cabinet as well. I had a lot of stuff that we weren't using anymore, specifically baby stuff. A lot of stuff up there you can see. There was so much that did not get used anymore, like baby spoons, baby bibs, 
the haka, breast milk storage, baby food storage, all of that. Like, obviously, Hazel's past all that now. Um, so I was just going to be putting that all in a box and then giving it to my sister. I basically freed up an entire shelf. So I was able to move stuff around in that cabinet and have more space and be more organized. So I did, like, plates and storage things on the top shelf, bowls on the middle shelf, and then all of their cups and water bottles and stuff on the last shelf. I put their silverware in their little silicone straws and I did keep some bigger bibs for Hazel but I had a lot of empty storage which was nice so I have room in that drawer to add things if I want. These three drawers right here have never had a, well two drawers have never had a specific rhyme or reason so I made the bottom one like baking stuff and then I made the middle one my appliances that I use often that I was sick of like breaking my back to get so I put like my food processor in there and then my toaster, I was keeping it under there, but like I was breaking my back every time and knocking stuff over to find it. And my toaster actually fit in there. So I was really excited to have easy access to that. And then I have this cabinet that I use every day. It holds Tupperware, my Instant Pot, some random jars, some random cake stands. Like I don't even know, it's so random. So I just really wanted to go in there and make it more functional for me. I don't have a lot of Tupperware compared to most people I know. I try to keep it minimal because like I don't need that many. I only need like a couple of them just to store dinner in and stuff. But I just wanted to go through and organize and clean it out and I successfully did so. I did take a small gray bins I got from Marks. I didn't show these, but I will show them in my pantry video. And I put some lids in there. Lids just flying all over the cupboards are no fun and it's just stressful. So overall, much better for this random little uh, cabinet I have here. All right, so that is going to be it for this video. I didn't get to finish um, everything fully like I wanted to, but that's okay. I'll finish it over the next couple days. I'm just gonna end the video right here, not keep recording it. I want to find a paint color for the top of the table, like I mentioned, or just figure out what I'm going to do with that. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to finish painting the cabinets, hopefully. I have a couple more organization things that I didn't get around to, like in our closets and stuff upstairs, but it's not it's not that big of a deal. Like I said, I will be filming our like pantry organization makeover type of thing I'm going to do. I'm just like really going to go in and organize our pantry because like i never did that and our, our pantry is like a really hot mess so it needs some work so be on the lookout for that video um it'll be up sometime next week so i hope you guys enjoyed this like i said i hope it gave you some motivation to get your stuff done and out of the way make sure that you are subscribed if you're not already and turn on the notifications so you do get notified whenever i upload and that's it. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.